What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're gonna to be looking at the new Discmania Swirly S-Line Cloud Breakers. These are gonna be the final cloud breakers that they're coming out with. These things are fire. Super swirly. I mean, look at this green one. Absolutely insane. And the purple one's sick too, of course. Has some cotton candy swirls in it. But yeah, these are gonna be the last cloud breakers that you can get. So make sure you go get your hands on them. We've got some left at Flight Factory, so make sure you go snatch them up before we run out because I'm pretty sure they're not gonna make any more of these. These are the final send off of cloud breakers. So these are gonna be the last run, the last things that they're gonna be doing. They got Eagle McMahon's name on them. They're certainly not gonna make any more of these. So I'm pretty excited about grabbing one of these. If you guys know me at all in my bag, you guys are keeping up. I've got that really lightweight, flippy destroyer, star destroyer. It's a 163 gram star destroyer. So it's got kind of that bubble rim. And once that bubble rim starts getting beat up, if you guys have any experience with that at all, it gets really beat up. Cause I guess once it hits the edge, it hits like an air pocket and just like opens up. They, they get pretty beat up quickly. So that, that destroyer is starting to get a little flippy on me. So I'm really hoping that this can replace that and just kind of give me like a nice straight flight, maybe a little, little S curve, but still have a nice reliable finish at the end. That's what I'm looking for in this disc. So that's why I'm super excited about these because I'm pretty sure these are going to be the flippiest run of cloud breakers that they make. At least that's what I've been hearing. So we're going to check them out today, see how flippy they are. I'm just going to throw them out there, try to get them out as, uh, as flat as possible. As you guys know, that's a, that's a hard one for me. Yeah. Nice reliable finish. Probably threw that on a little bit of hyzer. And uh, I mean, just such a good flight. I'm really excited for that to uh, beat in and get to that, get, get a little bit more turn out of it. But let's check out this green one. Yeah, super nice flights. That's way down there. I didn't throw them out there a crazy distance. Uh, the green one went about 350 feet. First throws out of the car, so you know how it goes. Still kind of getting warmed up here, but that's not bad at all for, for the green one. Just kind of went dead straight and then had a nice fade at the end. Probably not going to be my main bomber disc for wide open fields. I'll probably still use like my Hades or my Flippy Destroyer to get max distance because I can, you know, let it do its whole S flight thing. But this in the woods, if I'm trying to go for like a 300 foot shot, 330, something like that, and I just need something to go dead straight through the woods and not have a lot of left to right movement, these things brand new are gonna be a great, great pick for that. We're gonna try to throw them out there on some flex this time. You guys know I'm not the best at this, but we'll try it out anyway. Nice little turn, fights out really good. All the way down there, it's about pin high with that, with that pin down there, which is probably around 350. Not a bad shot at all. Didn't give it a lot of a lot of Anheuser, but it still kind of just came out honestly probably flat for me. When I try to throw Anheuser, most of the time they just come out flat. But had a nice, I mean you saw that turn and then had a really reliable fade at the end and even a skip. So I can't wait for that purple one to beat in just a little bit more. Maybe just get a little bit more turn out of it. Oh man, I think it's gonna be so good. Stay up. I didn't give that enough height, but you could see it try to kind of pan out there. Wasn't the best shot from me. Nice. Got some Anheuser on it, that one. Wow, that thing went far. Yeah, she down there. That thing is pretty, pretty far. It held the turn for a good bit, which I like. Didn't try to just immediately fly it out. I really like that flight. These things are absolutely money, absolutely money. I would not want them any more stable than this. This is perfect. This is the perfect cloud breaker. Might throw that one a little nose up, but it's still holding that turn pretty well. Wow. Yeah, I definitely messed up the nose angle on that one. Not Didn't quite punch it through as much on Anheuser, but still held the turn a good bit. I mean, just awesome flight, awesome. Really nice Anheuser flights there from these guys. That This purple one went about 380. Just absolutely filleted the gap right around the tree. I mean, just such a sick flight. That's, just, that's the kind of flight that you hit, you know, in the woods or something, like bending around a tree on Anheuser and then having it flex out all the way down here. Just such a sick flight. Absolutely makes you love the game of disc golf. Watching that flight happen, 
you just can't not have a smile on your face. We're gonna try them out on a forehand this time because again, this is a do it all distance driver kind of deal. It's gonna be able to hold up to some torque, but if you throw it properly with some enough speed, it will get some turn out of it, but it's still gonna come back at the end. That's why I love these discs, man. I can't, I can't get over them enough. So we're going to throw them out there as a forehand and see how we do. Yeah, super nice. It came out a little wobbly, but still such a good disc for forehands, I'm telling you. Yeah, probably gave that one a little bit of hyzer, flipped up flat. I love it. I love these discs. So like I was saying, if you guys haven't picked up your cloud breakers from Flight Factory yet, make sure you go check them out. We've only got a few left and they're going quick. And these are the final run. They're not gonna make any more of these. So if you want one to hang up on your wall, if you're a collector or you just wanna throw some some bomber cloud breakers, go pick this run up. These guys are absolute bombers. Yeah, these just go far. We're gonna do a little final send off and then we're gonna end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. We're gonna rip them out there one more time. Through that high through that thing high into the sky we're gonna try to rip this one a little better that was my noodle arm coming out let's see if we can't get this one right oh yeah now hook up oh it's just sliding on the ground all right so that's gonna be it for this one make sure you guys check out the next one peace